All right, you guys, today I check out how to create this 3D text donut in perspective here in Illustrator. All right, so step one, we're going to start with the type work. And for the font, I went with Humane Bold. It's a free font you can download. I'm going to leave a link in the description. And I'm going to go to the font, double click, select all, press Control C. And I'm going to just create another copy, a right click, create outlines. And I'm going to press and hold all to drag it down, press and hold Shift to isolate. I'm going to position it somewhere here, press Control D to duplicate select all right click group let's deselect it and let's go and select the rectangle and recolor it i'm gonna go with this green and let's create a rectangle above the text right click on the rectangle arrange and let's select send to back and i'm gonna select all and align it horizontally and vertically and i'm gonna arrange it a little bit better and i'm gonna select all right click group and from here, I'm going to go to the symbols. If you don't have it, you can go to the window and select the symbols. All right, so let's select the text and drag and drop it into the symbols. Click OK. Now you can delete it. And I'm going to change up the color to some gray. Let's go and select the ellipse tool. I'm going to click somewhere here. And I'm going to go with the width and the height 70, for example. Click OK. So now we got a small circle. And let's go to the facts. 3D and materials. Let's go to 3D classic and select Revolve Classic. And let's go to the position. Let's go and select Top. And let's go to Map Art. And here we're going to go to the symbol. And we're going to select the new symbol that we created. Click on it. And also select Scale to Fit. Click OK. And click OK. So now we're going to need to duplicate this and scale it. And now I'm going to go and press Control C and then Control B. Or you can go to the Edit. You can go with Copy. And then go back to Edit and select paste them back. Now let's go here to the properties. Here we got the 3D and revolve. Click on it. And now we're going to need to scale this second donut up. So we're going to go here to the offset and I'm going to scale it up with 70. And you can click somewhere here, for example, on the angle. And now you can see how it resized. All right, so let's go back to the map art. And we're also going to need to resize the text. So let's click on scale to fit. And by the way, you also can stretch it if you want and rearrange it. So I'm going to go and just pull it and just try to create some new outcome. I'm gonna drag it on the top and I'm also gonna drag it on the bottom. Now it looks something like this, click OK and click OK. And I'm gonna go and repeat the same step, press Control C and press Control B. So now I'm gonna go back to the 3D materials again and we're gonna go to the offset and I'm gonna add plus 70. So we're gonna duplicate this and I can see we've got the perfect size. Let's go to the map art. And what I'm going to do here is stretch it on the left and also stretch it the right. And click OK, click OK. So now it looks kind of boring, but we're going to need to put this in perspective. So what I'm going to do is go here to the layers and open it up. And for example, I'm going to go with the very first one with the top layer. And I'm going to click on this rectangle. So it's going to highlight the rectangle here. Let's go back to the properties. And now I'm going to go back to the 3D and Revolve. And here I'm going to put it in perspective. So I'm going to increase it. For example, I'm going to go with 100. And I'm going to go here to the rotation. For example, I'm going to go with this one and rotate it. But it's going to rotate it kind of incorrectly. So as you can see, it has some bugs going on. So I won't work with this. I'm going to decrease it to zero. So I'm going to go here to the minus 90. And I'm going to start rotating, for example. For example, I'm going to go with minus 60. I'm also going to increase the perspective even more. 130. Click OK. And now I'm going to go back to the layers. Select the second one. Let's go back to properties. 3D. And repeat these steps. Perspective 130. And here I'm going to rotate it. For example, here minus 65 is pretty good. Click OK. And let's go to the last one. The biggest one. And let's see here what we can do. Minus 130. And let's rotate. Yeah, so this also looks pretty good on minus 65. Click OK. And take a look at that. And pretty much that's how you make it. And see you on the next one.